TLU Bulldog fans, I am here with Ben Prihoda, a junior from Austin, Texas. Bulldog fans, I am here with Ryan Keel, a senior from Seguin, Texas. TLU Bulldog fans, I am here with Nick Mahegan from Whitefish Bay, senior from Wisconsin, and Dieter Castro from West Laco, Texas. He's a junior. TLU Bulldog fans, I am here with Eric Peterson from Kelso, Washington, a senior. Bulldog fans, I am here with Chris Hyten from Virginia, a junior for the TLU golf team. Why do you play golf here at TLU? Um, TLU has, uh, long before my time, a great history of being a really good golf team and good golf program. What caused you to come play here at TLU? Uh, TLU gave me my first shot. Um, I could have played a couple other places, but I felt like this was the best fit for me. My family is very involved in the community here in Seguin and I've just been a big part of the Seguin family and I've, I feel like I belong here and I, I love the campus, I love the people here and, and the professors and so forth. So that was a big part of me coming here as well. Uh, I play golf here at TLU because this was uh, one of the only places that was that was able to give me an opportunity to play golf um, here straight considering I didn't play a whole lot out of high school. Well, I've been playing golf since I was about four years old. Uh, my father and my brother were big influences on me, and I've always competed um, in athletics, and golf just was the next step for me to play collegiately. So it's it's a good time here at TLU. It's actually been a dream of mine to compete at the NCAA level, and being a collegiate athlete is what I've always tried to be since I started playing competitive when I was like 13 years old. Why do you play golf, and what caused you to play golf here at Texas Lutheran? Uh, well, I came to Texas Lutheran coming from uh, Colorado, and we don't get, obviously get uh, very many months of the year to play golf. Uh, so I came to Texas Lutheran to get you know year-round golf and also a good ed education background too. What is your favorite or most memorable experience here at TLU? Uh, well, for me, uh, we've won two tournaments this year, both that we've hosted, and. Uh, Going ahead and, and shaking Coach Tran's hand and getting the first place trophy um, is pretty big. We've won two tournaments hoping to, to win conference, and it's a big moment when your team can win. You can go up there and you know stand up in front of everybody and um, know that you won the tournament. Um, for me, I would have to say it was my freshman year. Um, we hosted a tournament during spring break in Concan, Texas, and I think it was the second day of the tournament, a whole 765 yards. I had a seven iron. Two hopped it in the hole, hole in one. Good shot, dude. That's definitely got to be my definite yeah, favorite big. experiment. My most memorable experience here at TLU would have to be winning the conference championship as a freshman. Uh, at the same time of winning, right after the tournament, I found out that I was selected to represent the United States of America in a golf tournament against China. Uh, well, we had our uh, one of our tournaments that was hosted by us, and I played pretty well and placed really well, and coming back here to classes and the president came up to me and congratulated me and congratulated the team on the win and it was really just uh, meaningful to me to be recognized. Uh, my favorite part uh, was able to help the guys uh, get into the conference champions conference championships last year uh, when we weren't able to or when we were on the verge of um, not even being on the radar to being able to go to conference. As a senior, how have you grown or what have you learned on and off the field? Uh, I've tried to grow and learn every time I'm on the golf course. I feel like if I don't learn something new every time I'm on the golf course, I'm not being effective and I'm not gaining or, or being productive. Um, I've become a lot more mature as a person. I've been able to, I guess, grow on the golf course because of of being surrounded by great people and, and great coaching and so forth. And it's just been a great experience for me in college to grow and be able to try out a bunch of different new things and, and not have to worry about consequences on the golf course because it's it's a big trial, it's a big practice session for me as far as I'm concerned is, is at the college level. What have you learned on the course athletically and academically here at Texas Lutheran throughout your years here? Uh, on off the course has been a big deal with time management. Uh, you come back from a tournament after missing three days of classes and having to make it up in two days has definitely been a struggle. 
and then uh, you really have to focus not only just in classes but on the course you can get uh, bogged down with academics or tests are coming up you really just have to bite the bullet and focus down on everything you do being that you're a senior what have you learned or gained from your experience here at TLU that led you to be a captive um, just being patient with people trying to get people to work together um, I mean that's why we we're as good as we are now is because we're all close friends and uh, we all work together really well um, I, I've grown to be able to depend on my teammates because uh, golf is uh, mainly an individual sport and um, and at the college level you have to be able to depend on your teammates to be able to win tournaments and uh, place well at conference uh, no matter how uh, how far you may advance um, if you don't have the dependency on the teammates and be able to go out and and uh, just give it all all you have, then you let yourself down, you let your teammates down. Now that you're about to graduate, what is the next step for you uh, golf-wise or in any other form? Um, I am going to graduate in May, finally, and I plan on turning professional in June. I'm currently getting a bunch of sponsorships together and so forth to be able to uh, pursue my dream of becoming a professional golfer. Um, I'm going to be able to focus all my time on golf. It's going to be nice to not have to worry about school and tests and, and writing papers and, and doing homework. So it's it's just going to be nice to be able to focus on my all my time on golf and see how far this game can really take me. What do you expect for the rest of the season, being that conference is coming to an end? Well, our conference tournament is going to be this April and since the beginning of the season, back in August, we've all kind of made a commitment to put the time and the effort so we could come towards conference with a good attitude and win conference because we all want to play at the we all want to play in the national tournament in May. So we want to put forward the best effort we can this April so we can accomplish our our goal. Yeah, we know uh, we know we're good enough um, to win conference, and, and as Dieter said, we made that commitment. And uh, we want to we want to go through with that commitment and have the chance to play on the national stage and show people how good we are. So we just need to keep working hard, and um, we definitely have a good chance of winning conference in April and getting that bid to nationals. So that's what we're looking forward to. Conference tournament is coming up. What do you expect of yourself and of your teammates? Well, I, I do fully expect us to uh, compete for the win at uh, conference this year, and uh, as far as individually. Uh, we'll have three rounds, and I just really want to con contribute three good scores um, in, in order for our team to have the best chance to win conference and then go to nationals. What do you expect for the remainder of this season? Um, I expect the guys to play uh, as well as they can, give it 110%, because um, even if we don't win, uh, win out the season, um, then we can at least say that we, we did so, giving it everything we had and trying our very best. Otherwise, we kind of fail ourselves if we don't. Um, we don't have that confidence to be able to say that we gave it all we had.